So this is another demo of the NGL VAO factory. Uh, in this demo you can see I've got varying amounts of data being generated every frame and I need to visualize it. This is quite a common thing that happens in simulations and things like that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take this data that I've generated and I'm going to recreate the buffer data every frame, populate the data and then draw it. So not the most efficient way of doing things but actually very quick to just sort of realize. Um, so what I've got here, NGL scene, I've got two elements here. I've got M data, which is a stud vector, which is going to have my vertex data. So I'll just, in this case, I'm drawing lines, so pairs of points. And I've got a stud unique pointer holding my VAO. I, when I construct my class initialize gels called, I create my VAO here. I'm just not populating it. So all I'm doing is saying I want to create a VAO. It's a simple VAO of type lines and I'll also start a timer when um, this happens here so you can see start time at 250. What that does is it calls the timer event in Qt and that gets executed every frame and all that happens here is I clear the VAO, I then um, choose a random number um, in this case random positive number between 500 Multiply it by two because I'm going to have um, lines, so I'm going to have two vertices for each. Uh, using the range base four, I go through, grab a random vec three. Random vec threes um, are uh, in NDC, so minus one to one. Scale that by five, and that gives me my nice uh, series of points that you can see that are just ranging in this sort of unit cube here each frame. Um, then update is called, and what update does is it um, triggers the paint GL method, so this method here. So now what I'm doing, I'm binding my VAO, ready to do drawing, um, and I'm calling set data, and I'm passing in my um, data dot size multiplied by the size of VEC3, so that's the amount of bytes of data I want to set, passing in the first element of that data. Um, now set data in the simple VAO deletes a buffer if there's one already there, so we've cleared the buffer that's there, we're creating a new one of the correct size to be drawn. We must then set the vertex attribute pointer. When the buffers are deleted, all of the information around that buffer is also deleted, so every frame we must set the vertex attribute pointer. So in this case I'm just saying um, input zero is my vertex data, which again is in the shaders. Um, I'm using the default color shader in NGL, so it's just a single color. Um, three because it's xyz type float and the data is tightly packed set the number of indices how many indices there are to draw call draw and unbind so basically we're just creating a batch of data every frame and rendering it and you can see that it's fairly efficient we've got quite a, a lot of data there a few thousand and it's working at a nice frame rate we can in fact increase this quite a lot get a lot more data as well if we wish. So for very quick visualization of data this is the simplest method of doing it. As I say it's not necessarily the most efficient. We can get more efficient.